Well, our first guest has probably seen it all in his incredible TV career. I bet there was even a bus incident back in 74 that we've all forgotten about and he covered it. George Denikin, welcome to you, sir. Yeah, good evening, guys. How are you? I Excited. think, good, I think our socks well. need to be small and white, not black or fluoro going up to your kneecaps. Am I right? I'm totally with you. Too much coffee shop, pretty boy. <laughs> Carry what a surprise on. that he doesn't like people who think about fashion. I don't have a problem with black. All right. Yeah. Well, I like black. Yeah. This from a guy that did the bunch ride yesterday on his time trial bike, though. The only coach. Stopped twice at cafes. <laughs> Very good. Um, George, a cycling Greek. I guess no one in Greece can actually afford a car anymore, so this probably feels Rubbish. like no petrol, no Balkan food. Balkan Games, European uh, Championships. Greeks have cycled for years and years and years. In fact, they cycle from the marathon. How do you think they got news back uh, to Athens that quickly? Is that right? Oh, yeah. You, you think they ran? No. <laughs> Too tired. No, absolutely. Tell us, first, way around. Yeah. tell us first about your lovely connection to the Amy Gillett Foundation. How um, it came about? Uh, it's a poignant one. Amy Gillett uh, was, uh, was my sister-in-law. Right. Uh, my wife is uh, Simon Gillett's uh, younger sister. Yep. And for us, 2005 um, was a pretty black uh, year. We were pre uh, pretending... Uh, well, preparing to get married in Santorini and Amy was going to be there for us yeah and she um, we got a terrible phone call one early one morning and it was word from Simon he'd just been uh, you know approached by the police that said to him uh, look um, Simon there's been a terrible accident and we think this is the state of play and it was a very bad day we we lost all we saw the Australian women's cycling team the champion team mm. decimated and uh, only Alexis Rhodes really has emerged as still a competitive rider from that group. Yep. And we lost Amy on the day, which was terrible. Yep, amazing stuff. You've been and, doing and some great work for the foundation well, since then. Well, not so much me, but, but Simon wanted to bring something uh, you know, positive out of that very black moment in, in cycling history, history, and especially in his life. And he was very particular. Mm. Uh, and, and Di was also very supportive of the idea of putting something together that we could, um, that would help us, I suppose, keep Amy's uh, name, spirit alive. And that was bringing back and creating a foundation and trying to convince people, whether they were riders, whether they were pedestrians, whether they were drivers, that mm. we could share the road mm. and do it together and not have to teach everybody that a metre matters, as you saw in the, yeah. in the accident over exactly. there. And each can matter. But, um, exactly. That's the so, so what do you do now? You have Grand Fondo style rides? Well, that's you... Simon's idea. He's yeah. always trying to crank and, and bring energy to the sport and keep pushing the boundary. Uh, Di was, my, my wife was on the board for uh, quite some time, but she also understands that to take things forward, you need to step back. And now she's stepped back yeah. and she's allowed the, the, the board to grow with the new energy, new people. And Simon, of course, just keeps, uh, um, he still carries um, all the, uh, the emblems and all the symbols that are Amy and the registration plates are Amy. Yeah. And uh, the safe family uh, treasure uh, something very special. Every time the Amy Gillett ride goes to um, Adelaide, they're there. Yeah. And in fact, um, uh, her parents still uh, were using the special guests and uh, they love it because it keeps that wonderful spirit alive. Yes. We're certainly hoping the, uh, the message is getting through for safety. You're obviously keen on cycling as well. What is it about the tour that grabs you in this time of year? I think the, the tradition, uh, the great stories, the great crashes, of course, because people uh, live for them. And um, you never know what you're going to get. And, uh, of course, overnight we saw that wonderful Orica Green Wedge uh, create a bit, bit more history. Have you ever been to the Le Tour Live? Have you been to France no. in July? Is that well, I've been to France, to... Yeah. but I've never been to the Tour Live. And you you I would get have a camper van and park it on the side of Alpe d'Huez, stay there for three days? I, 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 would, I would try and be the guy who drove the, uh, the Orica Green Wedge. Wouldn't that be You would have loved this, George. Overnight we saw as the, uh, the field came past... Uh, some guys on the roof of a building with flares going. Oh, oh mate. Brings back memories of the time when I was president of the South Melbourne Football Club. Well, it's borderline hooligans, isn't it? Oh, you can no, spot a hooligan no. from the adding, Look, they're adding colour, passion, and they wanted to be seen. Exactly. You, you get the word? Right, so that's not hooliganism. OK, I'm so happy. <laughs> Have you enjoyed seeing the tour develop over the years, being a, such a newsman over well, the decades? Well, as you imagine, in the early days of SBS, the Tour de France was something very special and unique for us and suddenly to see it embraced by everybody and to see an Australian of course claim the title in the shape of um, Cadell Evans yeah. was just wonderful. What do they say? The fastest nerd on the planet yeah. and he made us all very proud of him and he was just spectacular. And he carried it off not only with aplomb but he came back to Australia and embraced something that he doesn't do normally very readily 
That was exactly, a wonderful yeah. thing. Yeah, I thought that was spectacular. The rally in Melbourne yep. was just yeah, wonderful. Yeah, so proud of you. Lovely to chat to you, George. Can you stick around for us? We need some help uh, with the roller racing next. Oh, don't tell me. Lindy I'll, I'll be there for you. No worries. Fantastic stuff. Thanks for that. <laughs> Got to take a big, uh, quick break when we come back. More of Latour Prologue, powered by Subaru.